I really, really, really enjoy this fragrance. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I just want to do a little review today on Babylon Fragrances, The One. Now, Babylon Fragrances, the house that I really, really, really enjoy. Their fragrances, they come out of Dubai and Paris, the oils, and they might even be unique to this fragrance house. Most of the time they go after impressions and they're just so luxurious and nice. And that is pretty much the case with this one, Babylon Fragrances, The One. Apparently it's inspired by Elysium by Roja. So basically what I get from this um you know pretty much I, I wrote up a whole fragrance review for this and then i looked up that it was a copy of elysium by roja so i've never tried the original to that maybe people have their own opinions about what it smells like but to me what i get from this fragrance is a very high class mix of creed aventus and dior sauvage pretty much all my review is going to be based around those two comparisons because that's essentially what I get from this fragrance. I was looking online and I listed as many notes as I could list here. Lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, artesian thyme, lime, galbanum, juniper, black currant, jasmine, rose, lily of the valley, apple, pink pepper, cyperol oil, vetiver, cedar, vanilla, leather, ambergris, and there's more to it. I wrote up some pros, I wrote up some cons, and then I rated the fragrance. And this is one of those ones where I'm actually a really very picky fragrance reviewer and I really, really enjoy this one. So let's jump right into the pros. It's a mix of Creed Aventus and it's a mix of Dior Sauvage. Both those fragrances I really, really enjoy. I get a lot of compliments with the DNAs. Both those fragrances are so played out in the fragrance community that people really get annoyed. It's very common to just make fun of anything that comes out as a clone of it. People are already upset and they'll just come on the video and be like, I don't like Creed clone. I don't like Sauvage. Can we go on to the next thing? I kind of get where they're coming from, especially because it got so popular, it's been copied so much. But one thing I really like about this fragrance is that it dances between both those. You get kind of like the dry birchiness of Creed Aventus, but then it's not really any smokiness. I feel like Dior Sauvage and Creed Aventus, they both have ambergris and vanilla and the dry down and fruits. And this one just dances so nicely between all those. Right now, I just got a nice punch of that juicy Sauvage just opening the cap. You get more down deep into it and it smells Aventus style DNA, but that juiciness from Sauvage and the similar ambergris vanilla that's in both of them. They really, really, really enjoy this fragrance. And I would say that normally, if it was a Sauvage clone that was almost all Sauvage or an Aventus clone that was almost all Aventus, I'd put that in the pros and the cons because like I said, it's so popular, but because this one dances between both, I feel like it kind of negates that annoying stigma of a Creed Aventus clone or Dior Sauvage clone. It dances between both of them. I don't know any fragrances that do that and then do that at a very, very high quality with very, very high quality oils as well. This is kind of like my secret summer killer that I'm gonna be using because I love Aventus and Dior Sauvage for the summer. Nobody else is really gonna have it. It's definitely a winner to me. I really wish I could have smelled the original Elysium for this review maybe i'll order a sample but i really 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 enjoy this stuff guys for the cons again this is one of those ones where i normally have a lot of cons with something i don't like in a fragrance but this one is one where i really don't have any cons so i kind of have to um, look for cons that people could have if they have a different taste than me but the only cons i can really see is it's not the strongest projector now it projects very good i'll get into my projection rating in there but it's not like 10 out of 10 projector and this is again me, me trying to find problems with it. I don't have a problem with this projection, but I just had to put that in there for trying to find something that people could find wrong with it. And if you don't like a fresh, musky style fragrances with those, that's not for you, then definitely don't pick this up. If you don't like the Sauvage DNA or you really don't like Aventus, maybe you shouldn't pick it up. But I really like that this is different than both those. I'd be very interested to see if you wear this around frag heads, what they think of the smell. Do they think you're wearing one or the other? Do they pick up that it's both smells does it smell unique to them you know because i feel like the frag head this is kind of like when everybody's wearing their good stuff their killers you wear this to kind of mix things up because i don't think anybody's really going to smell it but it uses so many popular things from those fragrances that you know you're pretty much going to get the same compliments with it so 
Smell, I had to give a nine. I was gonna give it an 8.5, but I, I love both the DNAs. It's mixed right. Likeability, again, I was gonna give us an 8.5, but I really, really like it. So your Sauvage gets me some of the best compliments. Creed Aventus gets me some of the best compliments. So I had to bump it up to a nine just because the DNA is so tried and true. And then longevity and projection, I'd give an eight. Well above average, but like I said, it isn't beast mode. It's very solid, gets the job done. I would say it's about the same projection as Aventus and Sauvage are right now. So I'd highly recommend you get this one like i said if you like creed aventus and dior sauvage fragrances i really like if you want something that is going to accomplish those two but kind of give you a little bit of uniqueness this is what i would recommend but anyways guys please let me know what you think of the video down below what you think of these fragrances or the dnas of creed aventus and dior sauvage do you like those i'll be very interested to see down below but anyways we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys Let's help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you on the next video peace